Good morning, folks. I would like to begin today at the bottom of page three. We have already done the first part of page three. I would like to do the bottom half today. So I would like to derive once again for you the premium discount formula. And in order to do that, I am going to begin with our basic price formula given by price is equal to FR A angle NJ plus CVJ to the N. Again, where does this come from? This comes from the fact that you have a bond which pays coupons at periods 1, 2, 3, all the way to N. The coupon amount is FR, that's the coupon, and it pays FR throughout, starting at time 1, ending at time N, and at time N it also pays you a redemption. So when I calculate the price, which is the present value of this stream, I have an annuity for n periods of FR, that's the coupon amount, at interest rate J, plus the redemption which has been discounted by n years. Let's label this the redemption. So that's my basic price formula and today from that I would like to derive the premium discount formula once again for you. So we will start with this term A angle NJ right here and my objective is to cross multiply like this. So A angle NJ times J is equal to 1 minus VJ to the N. The objective is to replace this VJ to the N right here by something in terms of A angle NJ. So that's easy enough to do. Let's bring the 1 to the other side. You have A angle NJ times J minus 1 equals minus vj to the n. And I'm interested in positive vj to the n, so that's equal to 1 minus j a angle nj. So now I'm going to go and put this vj to the n into the basic price formula. Let's do it right now. So price equals fr times a angle nj plus C times VJ to the N. Let's substitute 1 minus J A angle NJ. So this now is equal to, by the way this FR is equal to CG, right? You remember that? Let's write it here. FR equals CG equals GJ. So it's saying that the face amount times the coupon rate per period R is equal to the redemption times the modified coupon rate lowercase g and that's also equal to the base amount times J which is the yield rate per period. So this should be memorized. You're going to use that over and over again. Memorize that. So here, coming back to this, I would like to replace FR by CG. So I get price equals CG A angle NJ plus C minus CJ A angle NJ. Let's gather up the terms that have A angle NJ in them. So I have P 
equals CG minus CJ, A angle NJ plus C. Let's factor out the C. P equals C, G minus J, A angle NJ plus C. That is your premium discount formula. And it's just an alternative, an alternate formula for price, the price of this bond. Okay. So continuing then, I would like to talk about this P minus C term. Let me do that on the next page. I just need a blank piece of paper. And then this would be page 3A. So beginning with that same formula we just derived, P equals C G minus J A angle N J plus C. Let us bring the C term to the other side. So now I have P minus C equals C G minus J A angle N J. So this P minus C is the difference between the price and the redemption. So we're going to concentrate on this term right now. If P minus C is greater than zero, that means if it's positive, then this is a premium bond. The coupons will overpay the interest on the redemption. So if P minus C is greater than zero, then necessarily G minus J is greater than zero because if this side is positive, then this side is positive. And therefore, C G minus J is greater than zero, which means that C G is greater than C J. So here's the coupon. and it overpays the interest, which is this one, on the redemption. So if the coupons are going to overpay the interest, meaning your coupon will be larger than the interest, you don't mind paying a little bond up front. That's why it's called a premium bond because you will pay, you will buy that bond at a premium. You will pay a little extra up front to receive larger coupons than the interest. On the other hand, if P minus C is less than zero, this is called a discount bond. And here, the coupons pay less than the interest. So your coupons are going to be a little underwhelming. 
And for that, you don't want to pay a lot of money up front for this bond. So P minus C less than zero implies G minus J less than zero implies CG less than CJ, where this is the coupon and this is the interest. So does that necessarily mean does that necessarily mean that a discount bond is a bad thing? What do you think? Does that mean that a discount bond is a bad thing? No, not necessarily. It all depends on whether you want to pay a small amount up a smaller amount up front and receive smaller coupons or whether you would rather pay a huge premium up front and receive larger coupons. It all depends. So if you turn to, let's see what page it's on. Right here. It does not reflect on the desirability of the bond. It doesn't mean that if it's a discount bond, it's undesirable. So it says here, um, when you have a discount bond, you expect to buy the bond at a discount. It does not reflect on the desirability of the bond at all, as many other factors play a part in your decision to buy a bond. These factors include creditworthiness of the issuer, the size, and the timing of the payments. So perhaps your parents want you to have some spending money while you are in college. Maybe they would purchase a bond, a premium bond, which pays large coupons so that you have a lot of spending money while you are in college. And then when you're done with college, you will get some redemption. They will get their money back, perhaps. Some amount C but the priority for them was to provide you with those periodic coupons. So maybe they would purchase a premium bond. On the other hand, if they were just interested in you getting a lump sum at the end and not interested in you collecting a huge coupon, maybe they would be able to get away with purchasing a discount bond such that the coupons are kind of low. They don't even cover the interest but you will get a redemption at the end. So in that case, their price would have been lower than the redemption. Are you with me? Okay, so this stuff is on page four. Let's move on then to page five. Page five, is an example. Let's start here. A bond with face value 6,000, F equals 6,000, annual coupon rate 12% convertible semi-annually, so alpha over 2 is equal to 0.12 and convertible semi-annually so M is equal to 2 so alpha 2 over 2 is equal to 0.12 over 2 which is 0.06 then that's our R R equals 0 0.06 Convertible semi-annually will mature in 10 years. N equals 10 years for its face value. For its face value. So the redemption C is equal to F. So this is a par bond. Meaning the face value is equal to the redemption.